already, it's so great to see you. And welcome to our Heroes VBS designed just for you. Well, it's me, Pastor Anastasia, and I'm so happy you've joined me today as we go on a Bible adventure. We're going to have so much fun in God's Word. Who's ready to go with me? Come on, let's go. How many of you like to get phone calls? Me too. I just love it when my phone rings. I get so excited. Oh, my phone's ringing right now. Hello? Hi. Yeah, sure. No problem. Will do. Bye-bye. Well, that was my friend, Miss Sherry, and she called to remind me to let you know that our theme for today is be devoted. Jesus is with me. Can you say it with me, boys and girls? Be devoted. Jesus is with me. Awesome. Good job. You sound so good out there. Our VBS is all about heroes. Now, I know when some of you think about heroes, the first thing that comes to mind is Superman or Spider-Man or The Incredibles or even Black Panther. But that's not the kind of hero that I'm talking about. Those are just make-believe. They're not real. I'm talking about God's heroes. They are the real deal. One thing I learned from the movies is that there's always a special way to call heroes to spring into action. Like when Batman sees the bat symbol in the sky, he knows that someone needs his help. Or when you see the Superman shield, it means that someone's calling the Man of Steel. Well, since they're all fake and if you called on them, they wouldn't come to save you and only God and his heroes are the real deal. What does God do to call his heroes? Does anybody know how God calls his people to serve him? Well, today we're going to learn all about it in our devotional entitled Calling All Heroes from someone who lived a long time ago. His name is Samuel. <laughs> When Samuel was a little boy, he helped Eli to take care of God's temple. Samuel loved to help and he was so devoted. After working hard one night, Samuel went to bed. He drifted off to sleep and then was awakened by a voice. Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Immediately he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Eli said, No, I did not call you. This happened three times. Now Samuel didn't know God yet. He didn't know his voice, so Eli told Samuel, I believe God is calling you. The next time you hear his voice, do exactly as I say. So Samuel went back to sleep. Soon after, he heard the voice again. Samuel. Samuel. But this time, he followed Eli's instructions and said, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. And just like that, Samuel decided to be devoted to God. Boys and girls, God is calling each of you to follow him just like he called Samuel. He has amazing plans for your life and he is so eager to share with you the things that he has for you. But 
like Samuel, we need to listen so that we can hear God's voice. Now, I know some of you might be saying, but Pastor Anastasia, I'm not like Samuel. I didn't hear a voice calling me in the night like he did. How will I know when God's calling me? That's a really good question. The best way to hear God's voice is to spend time reading his word. That's right. We have to spend time in the Bible. You know how we talked about how we like to get phone calls? Well, when we read our Bible, it's like God's text messages to us. It's his way of communicating with us. And along with reading our Bible, it's important for us to spend time in prayer. Spending time in God's word helps to grow our faith. It helps us to know his will and to hear his voice. When we spend time with God, we will find that he always wants to talk to us. And I know it might seem difficult at first, but try praying with your parents and asking God to help you to hear his voice. And before you know it, you will realize that God is calling all heroes. And you are one of the heroes that God wants to use. He uses ordinary people like you and me to save the day for so many people who want to know more about Jesus and all about how they can make it home to heaven. So when you hear God's voice calling you boys and girls, remember that you are the hero that God wants to use today to share kind deeds and kind words and to be a blessing to boys and girls everywhere. Just allow God to call you, and when he does, remember to say yes!